Okay, this is a follow-up. This is kind of a part two of the last Goodwill problem. If you haven't seen that, I can't... I, you gotta look into that because it's very illustrational. Now, in this number five uh, of chapter 14, uh, here's the problem, just what's in the book. And again, we have capital balances, Albert, the partnership consists of Albert, Barrymore, Kandroth, and they have these balances. Great. The event, the Zao, is Danville is going to invest $70,000, that's right here, I drew that, uh, into the business, in, directly into the partnership, uh, to acquire a 30% ownership interest, 30%. Goodwill is to be recorded. Okay, so this is very similar so far to what we've been doing. So, we draw our Goodwill underline, just like we did in the last video. And when we make the calculations, implied value is of the business is 70000 over 0.3, of course, and that's $233,000. And the book value is 350000 Why is it 350000 Well, sum this up and you get two eighty. And since Danville is investing into the business, add the $70,000. And that's why we get 350 instead of just 280. Uh, and we get a negative number here. Check this out, negative number. What does that mean? Well, it means either the partnership is overvalued, the assets of the partnership are overvalued, and that would explain the negative sign, or the new partner is making goodwill. We're assuming that we're making goodwill. Um, because it says Goodwill's recorded. Uh, the question is, what will Danville's beginning capital balance be? Oh, that's easy. He's the person. He's the investor. He's just investing. So, how do we calculate? How do we find Danville's little investment, his uh, his capital afterwards? Here is my symbol for capital. C is, stands for capital, uh, and there's a subscript for D. That's Danville, and that's the question. What is Danville's capital balance? Um, to find that, let's see. Can, can, uh, what is his name? Danville. Uh, Danville's capital balance uh, is equal to uh, his share in the partnership, which would be 0 0.3, times the book value of the partnership, plus the payment, plus the goodwill created. Great. That's just like the whole business. Add this together. And that's the whole business, and he gets 30% of the whole business. Cool, but what's the problem? We know this, we know this, that's $70,000. We know book value original, which would be 280 by just summing that stuff up there. Uh, but we don't know goodwill. Shoot, this equation doesn't quite answer our question. But we have another equation, which maybe it'll help us. What's the other way? What is the other way to find uh, the capital balance of Danville? And the second way is uh, Danville's capital balance, and that's actually Zhao, who is Danville, <laughs> equals goodwill plus payment. Crap! That's goodwill again. We we're like we've gone in a circle. We don't know goodwill up here. We don't know goodwill up here. Um, and by the way, this requires a little bit of proof, but trust me on it. It these <laughs> this really is. Uh, Danville's capital balance. It's just the goodwill plus his payment. So we don't, we look at that. We both equations use goodwill that were ruined, right? Uh, crap. Um, what did I write down here? <laughs> we don't know goodwill. We're ruined forever. Burn the torture tapes. But no, you don't need to burn the torture tapes because check it out. If you set this equal to this, you might see something like goodwill plus payment, Zhao. Uh, equals the share of Danville, of course, times book value and blah, blah, blah. We just set these two equal to each other. And what we're going to do is we're going to solve for goodwill. Then we can figure out what Danville's silly capital balance is. And I will now, let's scroll down a little bit more, and uh, it, after, use algebra and figure that out. And eventually you get this uh, cozy little equation right here. And it deserves, I want to say, five minutes of your attention. I give it at least 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 minutes of attention, just because that's the kind of character I am. And when you eventually uh, plug in all of your information, plug in a point three here, because that is uh, that's what it says to do up here. Um, uh, and, uh, and this was 280. 
plus 0.3 times payment, which was 70,000, right here, uh, over the inverse uh, of his share, which came to be 0.7. And we, we get 35 over 0.7 is equal to goodwill. Great, we solved it. But we don't want goodwill, we want CD. So let's plug in goodwill, which we found, and it's 50, to one of these equations. This equation is a little bit smaller. So 50 plus 70 payment is equal to the capital balance of D, of the Zao, uh, Danville. And let's just scroll down here and we'll see we found goodwill, it's 50. And we move down here, we plug it in. Oh, looks like I plugged it into the opposite equation, which was uh, Danville's capital balance 0.3. I mean, his share times the beginning book value of the partnership, which was 280, plus his payment into the partnership, which was 70, plus the goodwill, which was 50, and we reach a number. It's 120,000. So that is the capital of Danville after Zhao, after the little event, is 120,000. There you go. Very fun.